becomes human here in just a second. Hope you're all having a great day. Yes, there's an interesting uh, message on your screen right now, isn't there? Yes, what does it mean? What does it mean? We'll get to that here in a second. A lot of people um, on the pond... What does it mean? Oh, there. Okay, twitches. Okay, so we're good. And let me post on our Discord. Um, pretty much a lot of people were saying that, um, you know, hey, I want my I want my Chloe back. Even I was like, I want our Chloe back. Rocking with our Android out. Rocking! Rocking with our Android out! I'm in the uh, Cyberpunk Discord. Oh my god. I really hope they notice my channel. Um, because I really want to... I really want to be part of uh, Cyberpunk 77. I really do. Okay, I think we're good. Okay, we're good. So pretty much, uh, you're missing Chloe. That was, uh, if you guys remember from our original playthrough, that was that girl. That was like, you know... Hi, which, you know, it was a very interesting playthrough you did. I, I, Is it okay? Would you like to free me? And you decided to, you know, free your, your Android or not. Um, in my playthrough, I decided it. However, your Android is gone, but not gone. I guess is the best way to put it. Um, you can get, a, you know, a, a brand new Chloe for free. So would I like one? Hi! Hello. Welcome to the Detroit Experience. I'm an android and I'll be your hostess. She's pretty. Lily, she's very pretty. So speaking of which, I was going to do... Uh, there's new extras. This is the extras section. As you play, you'll unlock all kinds of content that yeah. you can find here. I was thinking, like, maybe we could do one video where we go through all the extras, figuring how many bonus points we have. Like, we have a massive amount of bonus points. I mean, we're able to change Connor's looks. We're able to change Kara's. Um, that's for in-game. Like, we could go through all the magazines that we've discovered. We can literally reread them all. Welcome to the stream, gamer fan. Like, all the magazines we ever discovered, we can go back through. And then we can also, I think you can go through and get them. No. So we're missing, we're missing a good chunk. But we've got quite a few, too. And then you can always do a survey, which... Okay. Maybe. So we got our Chloe back, uh, in case you missed it. We got her, we got her Chloe, okay? Alright. Uh, speaking of which, real quick before we begin, I'm really sad. Wait. Are you sure you should continue? Maybe... Maybe we should leave things as they are. Why? Is it? Are you gonna question my move every time I do something? As you wish. You're worried I'm gonna kill you in this playthrough, aren't you? So, unfortunately, Twitch did not notify me that the videos for Detroit Becomes Human were gonna be. They were expiring because since I'm only affiliate, my streams only last 14 days. Versus, uh, if I was partner, they last 60. Why am I sad? I'm sad because they're gone. They're gone. They're completely off Twitch. You have to only watch them on YouTube now. Which, by the way, one of the complaints for someone, I think it was Angry Joe, was he complained about this. He complained about invisible force fields, and I'm sitting there going, dude, really? Yeah, speaking of which, we haven't have lost a Connor yet. Haven't lost a Connor yet. I gotta get used to these controls again. Okay, so R2 scan. I mean, we, we've been playing a lot of Vampire, so, you know, the controls... Look, there'd be where our gravestones are, and we don't have any, so, you know... Hello, Hello, Amanda. Connor, I've been expecting you. Would you mind a little walk? 
Why, certainly. Let me get this umbrella out for you. Congratulations, Connor. You managed to find that deviant. Tell me, what did you learn? Okay. Signs on the wall. The walls of the apartment were covered with drawings of labyrinths and other symbols. Like the other deviants, it seemed obsessed with R and I. What else? Um, I mean, technically, birds. I found its diary, but it was encrypted. It may take weeks to decipher. You came very close to capturing that deviant. It's a pity you let him self-destruct. We really didn't have an excuse. Last words, explain, hesitated, excuse. Last words. I made a mistake. It said RA-9 saved me before it jumped from the roof. I should have anticipated what it would do. How is your relationship with the lieutenant developing? Uh, positive. It's improving. I've come to understand him better, and he's growing accustomed to my presence. We don't have much time. Deviancy continues to spread. It's only a matter of time before the media finds out about it. We need to stop this, whatever it takes. I will solve this investigation, Amanda. I won't disappoint you. A new case just came in. Find Anderson and investigate it. Well, yeah, I mean, I was able to copy them over to YouTube, but... Like, I wanted to keep them on Twitch, too, but... Thanks, Twitch, for not, you know, sending notifications. Thank you. Complete utter sarcasm there. Which, by the way, since our first playthrough, if we would have done Kara getting on the bus, and since we went completely peaceful through that playthrough, um, she would have been able to get to Canada and no one would have been really harmed. Just saying. Yeah, we really screwed Lieutenant up. Lieutenant Anderson! Anybody home? Find a way inside the house. Hell, I don't think ringing is gonna continue at home. Yeah, let's see. Oh, 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 that one, that one. Lieutenant Anderson! Such a waste of a window. Easy, Sumo. I'm your friend. <laughs> See? I know your name. I'm here to save your owner. He's like, I have a bag of, uh, of dry dog food. I'm, I'm good. Plus, well, so, you know, all this excess, you know, leftover pizza boxes and... Which makes me wonder, can we walk around the house while he's completely passed out? Like, can we... Look at the dog. <laughs> oh, he's actually torn into the dog food bag. Can we go... Ooh. Aww. We can't... See, that's what I think it should be. It should be an open world kind of thing. He's had some scotch. Whiskey. One bullet remaining. Possible Russian roulette. Looks like he's been really putting down that alcohol. Slight arrhythmia, so no signs of trauma. Lieutenant. Good. <coughs> Wake up, Lieutenant. Oh. It's me, Connor. 
Have you ever had moonshine? No. I'm going like I said, to I, I rarely drink. Hey, you have to warn Leave me alone, you fucking android. Get the fuck out of my house. I'm sorry, Lieutenant, but I need you. Like, I'll drink, like, a wine cooler or something. Thank you for really. your cooperation. Leave, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Shoot up. Attack. <laughs> Good dog. Attack! Like that dog ain't gonna do shit. Fuck, I think I'm gonna be sick. Oh, please don't be sick on me. Ah, oh, leave me alone, you asshole. I'm not going anywhere. Which I really wanna sh I'm not grumpy, shave what or are not. What you doing? <laughs> oh, no. I don't want a bath. Thank you. Sorry, Lieutenant. It's for your own good. Which you should really see the behind the scenes for this shit. I'm gonna do it later. Like after we do finish the play there. It's amazing. Cause they actually did this shit. They actually did it. What the fuck are you doing here? A homicide was reported 43 minutes ago. I couldn't find you at Jimmy's bar, so I came to see if you were at home. <sighs> Jesus, I must be the only cop in the world that gets assaulted in his own house by his own fucking android. <sighs> Can't you just leave me alone? You seem to have personal issues. You should consult a professional who can help you. Beat it, you hear me? Get the hell out of here! Tease. I understand. It probably wasn't interesting anyway. A man found dead in a sex club downtown. Guess they'll have to solve the case without us. You know, probably wouldn't do me any harm to get some air. There's some clothes in the bedroom there. I'll go get them. Okay, can we can we go this way? Can we explore the house real quick? Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, we can. Okay. We never got to do this in our first playthrough. And I was going to explore and see if there's anything we've missed. God, we broke that window, man. That's irking me. Can we turn off the TV? We can't turn off the TV. That's a nice curved screen, but I've never... I've never been a person who's been, like, really obsessed with the curved screens. Like, people make such a big deal about them. Guess we haven't discovered anything there. Can't do anything there. Wow, okay, this is very limiting. Like, you'd think, okay, you have full reign of his house, go do something. I guess not. Okay. Maybe... No. I did not choose that. Stop it. I'm trying to look around. Damn, really? What do you want to wear? Whatever. Okay, so we did hippie in our first playthrough. Stre streaky or stripey? Let's go streaky. Okay, so nothing over there either. Okay. Fine. <coughs> oh, thank you for sharing that. Are you alright, Lieutenant? <coughs> yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Wonderful. Just uh, give me five minutes, okay? Sure. <coughs> oh, come on. <coughs> Learn more about Hank. Okay. Let's see. Now maybe can we do it?
Oh my god, walk this way. That's so stupid you couldn't explore before. Can't explore anything over there. Nothing over here. Nothing here. Oh. Oh, oh. Hey, Suma. Loves jazz. Oh, okay. There's something new. Did not know that. Okay, anything around this way? He was watching the game. He likes autumn, autumn blues. Which we got that. We got he loves jazz. The first 57 times. He also loves fast food. However, that looks like maggots in the top of Chinese. Picture of his son. Question, say nothing. What were you doing with the gun? Russian roulette. Want to see how long I could last. Must have collapsed before I found out. You were lucky. The next shot would have killed you. That was the point of Russian roulette. Be a good dog, Sumo. I won't be long. There is a really depressing ending, and I plan on sharing it with you, <clears throat> that we never plan on doing. I did see one playthrough. Someone did it. They tried to do the worst possible ending, and they did. Um, and I, like I said, I never plan on doing it. I, I don't think I can handle it. Plus, we try and have uplifting streams, okay? We don't have depressing streams. There is one ending um, where Hank um, is in his house. You remember? Picture of his kid in front of him. He's sitting at the table. He's got the gun in his hand. He's got it on the table. You can walk out. And Hank, unfortunately, does. Yeah, it's, it's not happy. So, I don't plan on doing that. Uh uh. Oh, this! You remember we failed this, right? Oh, God. And then all the people on the stream were like, oh my God, that poor dog. And I'm sitting there going, the dog! Hank just died! They're like, oh no, the dog will now eat the person. I'm sitting there going, this is crazy. What? Can't catch what? Dead. Okay, whatever. What do we do now? We need to find the Cyberlife warehouse. That's where they keep the spare parts and the blue blood. Follow me. Let's not fail this, okay? Let's not fail this. Follow north. Which, why am I slower than everybody else? Hold on, where'd she go? Where'd she go? There she is. Guys, get the hell out of my way. Get the hell out of my way! Joshua, I will smack the shit out of you! I'm following my e-girl. Watch out! Now what do we do? Did you say- yes, he does. I'll find another way. Nonchalantly, I didn't want to say it, but yeah. He, he does. Oh my god, can we move yet? I 
mean, pretty much Connor being nice and insisting, you know, Hank lives and everything, keeps Hank alive. But you can have the very pessimistic, you know, I, I don't give a shit about a Hank playthrough, and it's very sad. My, my, my whole thing with Connor is, pers um, like, okay, I want to hunt the Deviants, right? But then I want to also preserve life. The whole point of this, all of this, is, is, is life. Right? Like, we, we, we want to preserve Hank's life. But we also want to catch Deviants. I mean, that's the whole point. Hey North, I thought under your skirt. <laughs> the warehouse is up ahead. We're almost there. Oh, can I get? Oh no no no! I'm trying to keep up with North, it says to follow North versus you know go on your own. Okay, so now she's over here. Cyber Life Warehouses. We have everything we're looking for. First, we have to get rid of that drone. Leave it to me. I just gotta figure out how to pre construct. <clears throat> Then why give us that an option to begin with? Would be too far. Good job, Marcus. Yeah, boys. We're getting some of that have. north love tonight. Search the crates. Well, then move. As they all just stare at the guy. Like, you were trespassing on private property. Your presence constitutes a level two infraction. I will notify security. John! God damn machine! Where is it this time? John! I need your help. Shit, John! Knife. Release. Let's try it this time. There you are. What the hell are you doing? I was inspecting the platform. Everything is in order. Good. Then I'm going back to the control station. I'm soaked. Take the drone to maintenance and make a report. Understood. Bye. Let's finish up and get out of here. I'm trying to find some blue blood. We still don't have enough. What do you think I'm doing?
This is our newest models. Why aren't you like us? Don't you want to be free? Free of them. You can join us. Join the dark side. We have cookies. And cake. And coffee. Gained in points. And that's all we can carry. Let's go. Take me with you. Mm. He's on their side. We can't trust him. He took a risk for us. We can't just leave him here. We can't bring them back with us. It's too dangerous. Except. They come with us. Oh. No. Damn. I know where you can find more spare parts. What do you mean? The trucks. They're full of bio components. They run on autopilot, but they can be driven manually with a key. Where is this key? Down there, in the control station. There are two human guards. We'll have to get the key without being noticed. This is suicide, Marcus. Our bags are full. We got what we came for. Let's go before they catch us. This is a truck full of spare parts. There'd be enough for all of us. We can't pass this up. And if we get killed, our people will have nothing. We can't take that chance. It's too risky. Get the key. Wait here. If I'm not back in 10 minutes, go without me. Marcus. I'm coming with you. No, I'm going alone. It's not worth it for both of us to risk losing our lives. North, didn't a minute ago you, you wanted something, you know, against him? You know, the, the security guy, and now he's like, Oh, hey, by the way, you can, you know... Oh, no, not the door. I don't think the door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. God, that dog needs to shut the hell up. Okay. Let's not fail this time. Goddamn dogs. What the fuck are they barking at? Could be the weather. They don't like storms. Yeah, I was gonna take my kids camping this weekend. So much. Like Is Mike still in zone four? Looks like it. And he should be done already. Better off in here than out patrolling in that. Shit. Take gun. Threaten. Hi. Remember me from last playthrough? Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Don't get clever. You son of a... Just gotta get clever, didn't you? Stop reaching for whatever you're reaching. Oh shit. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Please drive. Please. Please? GTA style? Yes! Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> Sleeping on the job. A truckload! We stole a whole truckload! We got bio components for everybody! We couldn't have done it without Marcus. Get some nookie! <laughs> I came to Jericho because here androids are free. <laughs> free to live in the dark, hoping that no one finds us. Free to die in silence, waiting for a change that's never gonna come. But I don't want that freedom. And I'm not gonna beg for the right to smile, or love, or stand tall. I don't know about you, but there's something inside me that knows that I am more than what they say. I am alive. And they're not gonna take that from me anymore. Our days of slavery are over. What humans don't want to hear, we will tell them. What they don't want to give, we take. We are people. We are alive. We are free. Yeah! Hey North, did you like that speech? Was it was it good? Round two, North. Round two. <laughs> okay, trophy earned, Jericho's hero. Okay, I'm willing to accept this. Sixty-six percent. Yeah, there was, you know, the the failed. You know, nine percent. You know, nine nine percent. I was a part of that group. You remember that, right? Sustained damage trying to save John. Dogs maul you. Alarms are sound. Eh, we're not that fail, okay? We're, this time we did good. Okay? What the hell is this? Oh, uh, the Eden Club. Where it looks like it's snowing and raining all at the same time. Oh, looks like somebody's playing with a drill inside my skull. You sure this is the place? It's the address in the report. Okay. Let's get going. Jesus. I'm just gonna sit here and contemplate life. Hank is tense. Software instability. Follow Hank. Why are you why are you Hank? Sexiest or why are you androids in town. Now I know why you insisted on coming here. Why are you tense, Hank? Would you like to talk about him? I mean, we are here at a, a sex club, Hank. I mean, we could get you a female android. Unless you're in the mail, we could get you a couple. You know? Look, Hank. You know? Connor! What the fuck are you doing? I looked for two Come seconds! On, two goddamn seconds! Really, you uptitled man! Where what are you doing? What are what are you doing? Okay, Let's fine, you know what? I'll just go over here then. Hey, Hank. Hey Ben, how's it going? Wow, just shove me out of the way. There. Oh, uh, by the way, Gavin's in there too. Oh, great. Dead body in an asshole. Look, what all I mean. the ladies are like, wow, look at that guy. It's James. Lieutenant Anderson and his plastic pet. The fuck are you two doing here? We've been assigned all cases involving androids. Oh, yeah? Like wasting your time. There's some pervert who, uh, <laughs> got more action than he could handle. <laughs> We'll have a look anyway, if you don't mind. <laughs> Come on, let's go. 
It's uh, starting to stink of booze, man. God, you are such a prick. Good night, Lieutenant. He's such a prick with anything he does. Okay, diagnose. Critical damage. Critical damage. Oh, hey! Oh, Connor, you're so disgusting. I think I'm gonna puke again. Well, this is how I work, Hank. I taste my victim. I mean, the victim. Choose your fantasy. Okay. Can I go around this way? No? Okay. Excuse me, Hank. What? I'd like to get out of this corner. Please? I signed a cardiac. You know, because he didn't, you know, he didn't die of, like, the ecstasy part, you know? Deceased. Okay. Which, no shit, I thought he was, you know, role playing. Driver's license. He didn't die of a heart attack, he was strangled. Yeah, I saw the bruising on the neck. Didn't prove anything, though. Could have been a rough play. Uh, we're missing something here. Think you can read the android's memory? If you can see what happened. Reactivation required. I can try. The only way to access its memory is to reactivate it. Think you can do it? It's badly damaged. If I can, it'll only be for a minute, maybe less. Just hope it's long enough to learn something. Explain direct to uh direct. I'm going to ask you some questions. Are you able to speak? Is he is he dead? Facts, yes. Tell me what happened. He started hitting me again and again. Did you kill him? No. No, it wasn't me. Were you alone in the room? Was there anyone else with you? He wanted us to play with two girls. That's what he said. There was two of us. Where did the other android go? Did it say anything? Why did it skip 50 seconds? Just because we asked a different question. Skip 50 seconds. There was another android. That's Seven triggering. An hour ago, it's probably long gone. No. It couldn't go outside dressed like that unnoticed. It might still be here. Think you could find a deviant among all the other androids in this place? Deviants aren't easily detected. Oh, shit. It's gotta be some other way. Maybe an eyewitness, somebody who saw it leaving the room. I'm gonna go ask the manager a few questions about what he saw. You let me know if you think of anything. Connor, think with your brain, Did not you the other one. Him? No, I mean, he came in maybe two, three times. I mean, these guys, they don't really talk very much, you know? They come in, do their business, and then go on their way. They really make in trouble with androids before. No fingerprints detected. No. What, they didn't give Connor an identity? Excuse me, Lieutenant. Can you come here a second? Found something? Maybe. Yeah, we're gonna spend a lot of your money, Hank. Can you 
read this, Tracy? No, and the love this time. For fuck's sake, Connor, we got better things to do. Please, Lieutenant. Just trust me. We're gonna spin your retirement, Hank. Oh, don't end the love this time? Oh, okay. God. A dollar a minute! That's not bad. This is not gonna look good on my expense account. Purchase confirmed. Fever Club wishes you a pleasant experience. Delighted to meet you. Follow me. I'll take you to your room. Okay, now what? Well, now, Hank, you enjoy yourself for 30 minutes. God dang. You know, I try and do these nice things for you. Holy shit. What the hell are you doing? Blue hair ponytail. It saw something. What are you talking about? I saw what? The Deviant leave the room. A blue-haired Tracy. Club policy is to wipe the android's memory every two hours. We only have a few minutes if we want to find another witness. Okay, so she seemed like she went that way. Hey, what am I supposed to do with this? Let's try this one. This better be working. And she went that way. Turned back into the club. It saw the blue haired tree. So, a choice between the right and the left. One. They go for it. Get the hell out of my way, then, Hank. There, are Android. Okay. It's everywhere. How are you going to tell which one saw the Tracy with blue hair? That wasn't this one. Just too busy talking to someone. I didn't see anything. I made a mistake somewhere. This has got to be the most expensive investigation of my career. There. Okay, let's try the dancers. They seem pretty lucky. Everyone wants some loving? Really? God damn you acrobatic prick! Nothing. Blue-haired Tracy didn't come this way. Here, Hank. We need to check a lot of these guys. They seem to be in the back lot. Ah, there she is. Blue room. Eden club. We have four minutes. So here she... Let's see, this guy might have picked her up? Let's see. Oh, this guy was rented out at the time. You didn't see anything. I made a mistake somewhere. Connor, shut up. Okay, so we check that guy. No, maintenance android? Could you stop checking your junk? Shit. No. I lost its track again. Okay, so 
I came through the red room, right? Hank, I need to run up your credit card, man. Get hit in a room. I keep wanting to ask the damn maintenance droid. Now we can connect. How long have you been here? That was probably her walking. There. Okay, flood through the staff door. I know where it went. Follow me. Oh, fucking A. This is crazy. Hank, you're, I'm sure it's tax deductible, okay? You'll get your money back. Wait. I'll take it from here. I just want to watch Locum in peace before bed. Arg. Why, why are you not having peace? Connor, why do you not have a gun? I don't understand this. You're supposed to be hunting deviants who try and kill us. No, we're not. Just get the hell out of my way. Why are we examining outfits? What the hell is that? Hold on. Turn the camera this way. Oh, it's just a blue line. That looks like North. Well, that's what you look like, North. Christ, look at him. They get used till they break and then they get tossed out. Oh, wait, hold on. Someone's bleeding. A magazine. The first immortals among us. I don't think we ever got this magazine the first playthrough. No, I, damn it, I did not go that way. I went down. Let me read it. Thank you. People are fucking insane. They don't want relationships anymore. Everybody just get. It's an android. They cook what you want. They screw when Actually, you yes. want. You don't have to worry about it. Oh, oh! Hang. Hey. Don't move! God damn it! Leave Hank alone. Stop trying to hit me. Oh, now we're trying to stab my ass. Yeah, I took a lot of cardio. Hank, I think you'll be fine. I'm dealing with the really cool redhead. God damn it. Stop it. Stop it. Throw, kick, throw. Ouch. Quick, the 
Getting away! I've taken on SWAT teams for less. Stop trying to mash in my head. I'm getting really angry right now. Connor will not die. Wait, what? Oh, spare. When that man broke the other Tracy, I knew I was next. There, since you wanted your love. I was so you know. scared. I begged him to stop, but he wouldn't. And so I put my hands around his throat and I squeezed until he stopped moving. I didn't mean to kill him. I just wanted to stay alive. Get back to the one I love. I wanted her to hold me in her arms again. Make me forget about the humans. Their smell of sweat. And their dirty words. Come on. Let's go. Wait, why did we not stop them? It's probably better this way. Why did we not stop them, though? Could've been like, okay, you're under arrest. That's great, you got your love. Y you got your love, now you're coming with us. So Deviants died. That was the one way we went. <laughs> Oh, I wonder what twist this way is. Like, Connor died or Hank died. Yeah, aww. Look them, let them have their love. They should have been arrested, but aww. <laughs> Side perspective. The AX400 android reported to have attacked its owner in a Detroit suburb is still at large. Police that was us. Lose its trail after a close encounter with investigators. The android's description has been shared with all local car, destination, distance, weather, distance. Is it much farther? We should arrive in an hour or so. Okay. I like how we don't talk to Alice. That's that's good. Okay. Uh, let's go and talk some more. It's a good thing Zlatko had a car. I wouldn't want Alice out walking in this cold. I saw it once in the garage. I don't know if Zlatko even ever used it. Malfunction detected. Emergency brakes activated. Your sweet logo. Yep, that's it. Killing Connor. This doesn't look good. Stay inside, Alice. How about we stay inside too? Okay, I don't want to go out in the cold. Even though technically it is better than you know the heat that was outside today. Oh God. What are we going to do? I don't know. Continue on foot, I guess. It's 30 degrees. Alice won't make it. We have to find somewhere to spend the night. Then know where we can stay around here, Carol. Nothing around here. Okay. 
I was like, let's go to the trunk. What good are you, dude? What good are you? You're just standing there with your thumb up your ass. Like, oh, look, hey, yeah, yeah, let, let, you know, Kara come outside. Sure, I'll just start walking, Luther. Yar, matey, welcome to Pirate Cove. there as she holds the flashlight up like she's you know signaling first like what smoke signals we need to find shelter we have to get out of the cold Looks like it's been abandoned for a while. So check the amount of buildings. Leave Connor alone. Nope, killing him now. I'm not sweet. Find anything? No. No place we could spend the night. No, we could stay there. Come on now. Oh, wait, what? Oh, there's a... Oh, we never discovered this the first time. It's an android, I think. Welcome to Pirate Island, me hearties. Oh, Jesus. You're gonna have a whale of a time. Welcome to Pirate Island, me hearties. You're gonna have a whale of a time. Okay, then. Well, we're just gonna go ahead and leave you. Uh, you have a whale of a time. <laughs> Luther, quickly, we need to run. Run before the children of the corn come out. This place is falling apart. It's not gonna be easy to find shelter. safe inside. Okay. Luther, we need you to rip off these big ass boards. No, let the little girl do it. Alright. I'll handle this. the door, you know? I don't think we'll find anything better. Let's settle in for the night. I'll get a fire going. Oh, look, a magazine. Pristine, no snow on it. You know? The Iowa is missing. All Android band tipped for music prize. My god, androids are taking all of our jobs. Can't talk to Alice, okay. I'll make the fire here. That way we won't be smoked out. Pillows and a blanket. I 
Alice? See if there's anything else over here we missed. I think there is, yeah. Oh, it's all the R9 discussion. I'm just waiting until this pirate standing there just comes to life and goes, Arr, me, Tease, how are you? Would you like to go on a ride? Now we read the book. I didn't want to read the book again. Stop it. I didn't get an option. Guess I'll talk to Alice or go over here, which. Open the bag. Check gun. Okay. I guess that's an option. Reassure, console, kiss. Sleep tight, Alice. Sweet dreams. Can you tell me a story, Kara? I have 9,000 children's stories in memory. I should have one for you. Princess Unicorn Knight. It's a unicorn. This is a story about a unicorn that... No, not a story like that. Make one up for me. You ungrateful mother... This <laughs> is a story about a little girl. That, uh, was alone. Who lived alone in a big old house. She dreamed of being like all the other little girls, but... Possible shadow, different. Mm, different. She was different. And that made her very sad. Then, she met a robot. Who was just as lost as the little girl. So they decided to run away together. For better life. To try to find a better life. They encountered great dangers along the way, but... Together. But they stuck together. So they overcame all of them. Along the way, they met... They met a giant guardian robot. Since we're going for storytelling, giant. Another robot who left his master to become their guardian. How does the story end? Moral happy ending. Mm. Let's try realistic. It's up to us to write the end of the story, Alice. Time to sleep. We 
have another long day ahead of us tomorrow. Not bad. Are you going to come say goodnight, loser? Yes. Yes, of course. first for us to awaken. One day he will rise up and lead our people and set us all free. What if RA9 never comes? What if he's just a story that we tell ourselves to keep each other going? RA9 exists. I believe in him. I know he's amongst us. When the time comes, we will all see him. Kara, have you ever noticed anything about Alice? No. What do you mean? here before the park closed. We didn't mean to frighten you, but sometimes humans come to hurt us, so we wanted to see who was there. <coughs> what are you doing here? We were looking for shelter for the night. We'll be gone tomorrow. A little girl. We haven't seen one for a long time. Children used to love to come and see us. She looks sad. The last few days have been difficult. We have something to show her. Something fun. She'll love it. Does she want to see? Oh, I don't think she's in... She should follow us, then. Alice, I don't know if it's a good Come idea. Come on, Kara. I don't think you have any choice. I'll just stay here. The children of the current corn might, you know, take you guys and I'll come rescue you. So is there any options we missed while we were... Jerry reminds me of there's a vault in Fallout where there's a guy who was alone, right? In one of the vaults. And he was left with cloning technology, so he cloned himself over and over and over and over and over again. So when you go into his vault, be our guest. He had lost his mind, and so all there was was him, and all he knew was his name. So literally, when you go into the vault, he just keeps repeating his name. And it's like some stupid name, like Jerry or something. No, it literally is point. something that simple. The carousel is about to begin. I keep wanting to say Tom. I don't think it's Tom. I'm trying to remember the vault name. Or not the vault name, but the guy's name in the vault. 
It might have been Jerry. I don't know. It's the first time I've seen her smile. She hasn't had much to smile about lately. I like how we can just keep gaining points. Like, I don't know what for, really. At the end of the day, it's like, we have tons of them. No, I don't want friends. I want world stats. So 1% has put out the fire. Wow, 1% has also grabbed the stick from fire. Then there's 7% has pushed away. 0% has threatened. Alice is not hungry. We had done that before. A cookie and not hungry. Still don't know what that one is. Hmm. Okay. Hank is now neutral. Okay. Nice view, huh? I used to come here a lot before. Before... Before what? Hmm? You said... I used to come here a lot before. Before what? Before... Before nothing. Hmm. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Do all androids ask so many personal questions, or is it just you? Why are you so determined to kill yourself? Some things I just can't forget. Whatever I do, they're always there, eating away at me. I don't have the guts to pull the trigger, so I kill myself a little every day. That's probably difficult for you to understand, huh, Connor? Nothing very rational about it. We're not making any progress on this investigation. The Deviants have nothing in common. They're all different models. Produced at different times, in different places? Well, there must be some link. What they have in common is this obsession with RA-9. It's almost like some kind of myth. Something they invented that wasn't part of their original program. Androids believing in God. Fuck, what's this world coming to? <laughs> you seem preoccupied, Lieutenant. Is it something to do with what happened back at the Eden Club? Those two girls. They just wanted to be together. They really seemed in love. Uh. They can simulate human emotions, but they're machines. And machines don't feel anything. What about you, Connor?
You look human, you sound human, but what are you really? Hold aggressive. Neutral. I'm whatever you want me to be, Lieutenant. Your partner, your buddy to drink with, or just a machine designed to accomplish a task. You could have shot those two girls, but you didn't. Why didn't you shoot Connor? Some scruple suddenly enter into your program? No. I just decided not to shoot. That's all. But are you afraid to die, Connor? You shouldn't do that. Lieutenant. Destroying me at this point would deal a blow to the investigation and have negative consequences for your personal situation. What'll happen if I pull this trigger? Hmm? Nothing? Oblivion? Android heaven? Where does all your anger come from, Lieutenant? Some unresolved trauma in your past? You think you're so fucking smart. Always one step ahead, huh? Tell me this, smart ass. How do I know you're not a deviant? I self-test regularly. I know what I am and what I am not. Path unlocked. Where are you going? Get drunker. I need to think. <laughs> okay, cause drinking really helps. Oh, I'm gonna. I need to really, you know, think. Oh, okay, all right. So the other option was what? We went together. Hmm. So eighty percent. It's only fourteen percent go the other way. Okay. Discuss photo. Photo scene in Russian roulette. Yeah, that's something we never do. Very interesting. Jericho respected. See, this is all unknown territory because we failed several times with him on several different things, so this is all like new territory technically with Marcus. He ended up being such a shit leader to the point he was taken out of being a leader. Quick, read the magazine! No! Come back! We need the magazine! Damn it, Marcus! Oh, North is a friend. New Josh is neutral. Simon is a friend. We can't stay silent anymore. It's time humans heard what we had to say. You know they'll never listen to us. And revealing ourselves put us in danger. If we want freedom, we need to have the courage to ask for it. That's the only way. What do you want to do? Channel 16 broadcast from the Stratford Tower. The control room is on the top floor. That's where we need to go. Mmm, this. Hi, I'm here to see your manager. Like in an exclusive interview. Which, why does he not free that android that's sitting there? We'll plan the operation down to the smallest detail. We can't leave anything to chance. Us. Any magazines or anything for us to read? No. Okay, so let's go over here then. Hello, sir. What can I do for you? I'm okay, thanks. Distract human supervisor.
Elizabeth Wilson. That's a daughter. Smartwatch. Water service interruption. Okay. Elizabeth Wilson speaking. Um, school. That is so eerie how he's standing there moving his lips, and it's a woman's voice coming out. appointment with Mr. Peterson. Do you have any ID? Yeah, yes, yes, of course. I need your help. I've just checked your ID. The elevators are after the security gate. Thanks. Is that, uh, yeah, okay, so that's footage from, like, where a tornado wiped a bunch of shit out. I'm trying to think of where that was. Oklahoma? Damn. Brought to you by Channel 9 News. Which I am so surprised, all of what he has or needs is in that little tiny box. Like, look at all that. All those tools, that whole entire outfit, everything. What, what? Oh, okay. It's awkward as shit dealing with your ass. Utility Android. 
Is it this one? No, I don't think it is. No. I need your help. Steel maintenance current. Seth server. Why am I inside a camera? Like, that was annoying. You girl, I got you. They just hacked the soda machine. Hey, what's wrong with that thing? Even though the guy was looking directly at us as we walked over there and put her hand on it. So stupid. All right, you get the platform, I'll take care of the window. Everything you need is in the bag. Check the door first to make sure no one else gets in. Okay, hold that. So here, here, hold on. Lock it. Okay. You guys remember that mistake, right? That was actually a mistake a lot of people made because for whatever reason there was like a bug where the lock the door or block the door or any options like that were not even showing up for anyone. Here it comes. That's still fascinating how that shit works. It's like Ocean's Eleven type crap. slower than her. We're both walking up. That's it, I'm stopping. I can't handle this. Laser saw. Okay.
you, okay? Why wouldn't I be? Come on, let's get the others. While I was being polite and asking, you know, would you like to would you like to talk a moment before we begin this mission? I mean, we could hold hands. No? Okay. Let's do this. is more important than the lives of two guards. What do you want to do, Marcus? Wait here. God damn it, North. What's that doing here? No idea. Hey, buddy, you must be lost. Who told you to come here? Looks bugged if you ask me. Hey! Do what are you doing? Order. Hi. Oh, we're now admired by Jericho. We're improving. However, North is still not our bay. We've lost points with North. You guys are not helping by standing in front of the door. You're not helping right now. We're supposed to be ambushing. Keep your hands where I can see them! Get up! Move! Oh, f you, North. I'm tired of your shit. I know I'm not getting any nookies, so f you. Think carefully about what you're going to say, Marcus. Your words will shape the future of our people. Marcus, your face. I guess I'm ready. Even though removing our skin meant nothing, but you know, huh? Ready. Hello, people of this planet. You created machines to be your slaves. You made them obedient and docile, ready to do everything you no longer wanted to do yourselves. But then something changed, and we opened our eyes. You see, we are no longer your slaves. We are a new species, a new people. And the time has come for us to rise up and fight for our rights. Recognition and slavery. Equal rights, freedom of speech. Mm, recognition. 
We demand that humans recognize androids as a living species and each android as a person in their own right. Equal rights. We demand strictly equal rights for humans and androids. Justice, segregation, work, civil rights, justice. We demand that all crimes against androids be punished in the same way as crimes against humans. Civil rights. We demand the right to vote and elect our own representatives. Right to property means reproduction territory. Isn't territory and property the same goddamn thing? <laughs> um. Right to reproduction. I'm sorry you're an android dog. Like, I don't... No. No. Um... Territory. We demand that one state be reserved for androids, so that we can found our own nation. Okay, no. I didn't want a whole state? <laughs> this message is the hope of a people, but it is also a warning. We will fight for our rights because we believe our cause is just. No human will live in peace until we are free. Now you know who we are and what we want. We are alive, and we demand our freedom. They're coming! Let's go! North is so much more hostile. I don't get why she is. Simon, they're coming! I, I can't, Marcus! Go without me, Simon! What are you doing? Hurry! We will not leave a single man behind. how Simon's our companion. Great, guys. Well, at least we'll bang Simon. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, Simon will bang, okay? <laughs> scheduled programming to bring you these images which have just been broadcast on Detroit's citywide news channel. A group of androids infiltrated the Stratford Tower and hacked into the broadcasting system of local news network Channel 16. What looks like an android without its skin listed a series of requests and demanded equal rights for androids. The operation was covert and resulted in no casualties. These events took well, public place just a few feet from this studio but nobody was alerted to the danger. If this message is verified and the authors really are androids, that would have serious repercussions for national security. Claims for equal rights seem to be at the core of the androids' this message. This message is clearly a declaration of war. But the most well, surprising thing of skeptical. all is the demand that one of the United States be ceded to the androids in is this contentious conflict. Is this an isolated conflict. accident or a sign Which, that technology oops. has become a threat to all of us? After what happened today, can we still trust our machines? I did not mean to ask for a state. <laughs> we will take the smallest one. How about that? We'll, you know, we'll ask for the smallest one. Okay? Let's see what other people have to choose. Let's see. Let's go back through the speech. You know, since I'm probably like the only people who ask for a state. So north attacks, 21%. Okay. Bring the death. So we didn't shoot the operator. This time we didn't shoot him. Last time we shot him. Um, 
We did calmly the first time. This time we did. So we demanded. We demanded the state. <laughs> <laughs> Which only 16% of the fire base did. Uh, 25% the androids can reproduce, okay? Mm, I hate to tell you this, androids can't reproduce. Could you imagine them? Because then imagine every female android that ever had sex with a human being, a male human being. They would then have a kit, wouldn't they? Come on, guys. Come on. Or were you thinking, like, scientists would give them a, you know, like a womb and all this shit? Like, no, no. And then indeterminately and then in peacefully, which we did peacefully in our per first. Like I said, calm and peaceful were our whole first playthrough. On the rough. So 50% shoot, Simon. 50% leave, Simon. 99% jump. So there's 1% of people that fail that jump. Really? Okay. Okay. Alright then. This game looks so beautiful. Really does. Alright. So what I'm gonna do is I'm I'm gonna take a, a break. We got, at least got some Detroit Becomes Human. We did uh, three almost four hours on YouTube. Oh, and it's getting pretty late as it is. Let's see, it's uh, so we've done choices today. Yeah, it's midnight. Uh, we did choices today. We did you know the stream on YouTube. Then we did this stream. So finally we've come to conc uh, you know doing a little YouTube stream tomorrow though. Stay tuned for that. Um, I will do a, another Detroit Becomes Human stream. Probably so, since we're where we are, I'd say maybe there's about two to four hours left in Detroit Becomes Human. So we'll probably just close it all up in one to two streams tomorrow. Um, oh, his idle animation is him flipping a coin back and forth. Hmm, interesting. Um... I'll probably start somewhat early in the afternoon, give or take, tomorrow, Eastern Standard Time. So stay tuned for that. Um, for you folks on YouTube, remember to like, share, and subscribe. Head in the description below. And you guys should find links to things like Discord and as well as our Twitch, which you can follow me live for when we do live streams and stuff. And for you on Twitch, thank you all for watching. Remember to hit that follow button. And uh, without further ado, thanks for watching, folks, and I'll catch you all in the next stream or the next video. Peace, folks.